Beijing hopes it will boost support for AI and other digital technologies. And officials believe it is essential in China's quest for high-tech dominance. To discuss this development, I'm joined by now Dan Yi. He's the technological expert and CEO of College Node. Dan, thanks for joining us on the show. Talk to us a little bit more about this mega project and how it will support AI. Well, this project basically spread the computing resource around the country. So now most of the computing resources are concentrated in Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. Uh, this push is to push the computing data centers further to the west and into other areas of China in which uh, energy is cheaper and more abundant. And it will allow the support of local infrastructure and local um, tech uh, ecosystem to better utilize the computing resources that's available. And the overall aim is to be more competitive in the global market. Can you talk a little bit more about the computing power between East and West and why this project will help bridge that gap? Well, you know, so now where most of the computing uh, resources are, uh, are mostly in the East. And if you look at the energy breakdown, um, most of the energy are actually still supplied by coal power plants, which is dirty and it's expensive. Whereas most of the wind energy in China are located in Inner Mongolia and other Western states. And the marginal cost of wind is close to zero. So it makes a lot of sense to push the data center closer to the green energy source so that uh, the cost of running these data center will go down. These data center actually take a tremendous amount of power and by using wind energy to uh, power these data center, uh, it will lower the cost of computing and it will make it more accessible to local entrepreneurs uh, to power everything from AI to biotech, uh, protein discovery, uh, weather um, prediction, a whole sort of um, local entrepreneurship activity can grow from this initiative. So you mentioned how this project will spread across different regional parts of China. How will it impact the economies and the communities of these areas and, and potentially reinforce their development? Well, we're entering into a stage of economic development in which more and more of our economic activity uh, are taking place online, right? More and more people are working from home. Uh, we're trying to have autonomous driving cars. All of these takes a lot of computing resource. Uh, the computing resource people don't really see, but we're relying on uh, as a part of our daily lives. So by having these data centers closer to where the energy source are and closer to where people uh, live, um, it makes the computing resource cheaper and more available to those who actually need it. Mm -hmm. By having access to low um, cost computing power, then it opens a lot of doors for the local entrepreneurs to mm -hmm. use these computing power uh, to, to, to build all of those activities that I just described. Makes it a bit more accessible. So China and the US were the top two countries listed on the 2022-2023 Global Computing Power Index. Naturally, they're competitors. But is there a way that China and the US can work together in this scenario? Yeah, I would think so. By having um, data centers you know, closer to renewable energy sources, you create data centers that are very cost competitive. So there are synergies between China and the United States in terms of working together. Also, a lot of these supercomputers in China uh, can be opened up for international research development. Um, so, you know, if you create scientific um, articles that benefit the whole world, not just China. So there's definitely a lot of places in which the two countries can work together on these areas. Great. Dan Yi, technolo technological expert and CEO of College Node. Thank you for your time. Thank you.